Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom with B-Pow Picks. B-Pow Picks, we give you fine picks daily here, except for the weekends, during the week. So if you want our weekend picks, though, go over to the Patreon. I'll put the link in the comment and in the bio. Go over to our Patreon, where we're making some money and having tons of frolic. Uh, I'm going to be giving you um, some paid picks. I really actually am busy tonight. I've been watching the games. My picks from last night are, eesh. it's one of those like, yeah, it could be really good. Everything's just on the edge. It's been tough doing picks. T- this uh, uh, It's early in the season, uh, getting a read on how the teams are going to play. Um, so I'm going to talk about some of the games. I can't talk about the games from last night because I've had to do this earlier than normal. The only thing I will tell you is I had two, one, two picks not go well. On Patreon, I had St. Louis in regulation. And uh, they just went to overtime and over, and it was way under. My bad on that one. I said in my video that, you know, is St. Louis going to keep on going over and over and over? And then I went against my instincts because last year they were money for the under. So I don't know. It's uh, it's just the way it is. It's gambling, right? We'll be back. We'll be hitting like crazy. I, I still got lots of picks that are going to going to come in here, um, but I'm not going to find out what they are till later. So let's go for our picks tomorrow for tomorrow's games. Um, Philadelphia, Boston. I can tell you that I got a play on the uh, total here. So I'm going to give you a play on the line. And uh, Philadelphia, it, you really, this is almost like a coin flip. But Philadelphia has, is a, could be a little more tired. And honestly, I just haven't liked their game. Also, Myers is out. And that's putting a lot of work on Gustafson. Now, if anybody has been watching Gustafson this year, um, he has been just what was advertised. I didn't really understand the signing of Gustafson. And I got a little criticism for that, saying that he probably will be end up playing 10 minutes a night down the road. But here he's forced to play a lot of minutes now. Uh, Boston's also without Grizzly, though. But even without Grizzly, at this point, I'm thinking I'm leaning more to Boston's uh, defense for this game. And they're at home. So I'm slightly leaning Boston uh, at 177. That being said, I would really recommend maybe putting, uh, I think this would be very close, uh, Use take Philadelphia on the PL. I know it doesn't pay huge. What does it pay? spread it only pays 135 but put it in a parlay that's probably your best odds there for that uh, for that game philadelphia could win it and will likely keep it close and it would be really good with a parlay i would say so let's go to the next game um tampa bay columbus I have a play on uh, the line here. So I'm going to give you a play on. Now, this is an interesting game. Uh, Tampa Bay and Columbus. Columbus, ever since uh, the whole thing went down with, uh, you know, Dubois, their energy has not looked good. They're playing the normal system, but they just don't have the jump to the puck like they normally do. Tampa Bay is completely fresh. Columbus has played three games in four nights, I believe. So I'm going to lean. I'm going to lean to the under here, simply because I don't think Columbus is going to be able to score enough. I think the score here will be about three one, maybe four nothing, three nothing, something like that for Tampa Bay. However, Tampa Bay could run it right up here because they are completely fresh, but. Um, Columbus is usually good to keep the score down. I'll go for the under on that. If look at this, if you can get in on this, this this for op, for over unders, you can't get any better than this. Under six and a half at one seventy seven. 
take that all day. Opening, opening. There you go. Uh, Islanders versus the Devils. I have a play on the total here uh, for my Patreon member, patron members. Uh, so I'm going to give you a play on the line. And that would be um, New York Islanders, I think, will pull it out. But it's like a coin flip almost. New Jersey's been playing so well. Um, this is maybe go on the PL again here with uh, with New Jersey and combine it with Philadelphia. Those are really good odds. It's actually better odds that New Jersey keeps it within one goal and Philadelphia keeps it within one goal. And you can get almost double your money on that than the Islanders or New Jersey winning here. So I'd probably do something like that. Ottawa versus Winnipeg. Um, I got to play on both of these. I can't tell you that one. Uh, Vancouver, Montreal. I'm watching Vancouver, Montreal right now, and I am blown away that Vancouver has been able to play as well as they are. It's 3-3. Vancouver is playing six games in four nights or something like or four games in six nights or something like that. And tomorrow is going to be, no, I don't know. And tomorrow is going to be seven games in 10 nights. Okay. So it's six games in nine nights they're playing right now. That is crazy. And they're playing very well. A lot of heart. Um, now, that being said, I think this is pretty much a coin flip. Allen's probably going to be in. Uh, Dem Demko's probably going to be in for Vancouver. Uh, I don't have much of a total here. It, if opening is six and a half, if it's five and a half, I probably lean the over. But these are two tired teams. Um, since you have to, I take Montreal at two ten, but it's really difficult to say. Since it's a coin flip, you might as well take the juice. I'll say, Colorado, Los Angeles. Um, Los Angeles is playing really, really tight. What kind of juice are you getting on Los Angeles on the ML? 244. I like two, I like the 244 on the PL. You're probably getting about 180. You're probably getting more on the spread for LA. No, 152, about the same. Uh, yeah. I'm not as confident about that one because Colorado can just light it up, right? Um, but Pedersen should be in. He's playing really well. Colorado ML, and that's not going to pay you too much. So I'm going to take a closer look at the line here, see how many lines come out that make sense to me, on the total, I mean, and... Uh, see if they change or anything like that. I might give that to my patrons. I'm not sure, but I'll give you Colorado ML uh, on, on, that, on, that, uh, on that card. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. I've been doing lives and lives and lives in the afternoon. If you got some time in the afternoon, from 10 till 2, I do a um, recap of the evening's uh, proceedings and kind of my view on the games and how they all went and stuff like that with uh, Steel Flyers from the Steel Flyers Network. Steel Flyers Network, it's the best there, I said it. Uh, go to uh, go check that out, the All Sports Network. And sometimes I do it with John from Off the Wall Hockey. Sometimes I do it with Peyton on the radio or Joe, uh, Professor Joe from uh, Sports Fanatic News. They're all part of the Steel Flyers Network. You know what I would highly recommend you to do? I'd highly recommend you to hit the subscribe and the bell and be part of the cool kids and come join this fine programming. What? Oh, look what happened. I hit something. Oh, well. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to ya. That's my full 42.